Hi everyone, I'm going to briefly introduce object editing mode, this kind of stripy lines where you're stuck currently. You might be trapped in here right now and you don't know how to escape. Let me show you how to escape and what it's actually used for. So I wanna introduce this early in the course because if you're a double clicker, you've probably already been in there by accident and I'll show you how to get out. So I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. I'm just gonna draw something out. And normally you can just kind of grab the edges and you're like, okay, that's, I imagine how I want it. And, um, but if you want to like say break the edge and distort this, you double, well, there's the official way of getting in there. So I've got it selected. Look, there's the official way, edit object. Click on that and nothing really happens except this top menu changes. Watch it again, click on that. And you get these extra features. We'll go over them in more detail when we start drawing our own icons, but I wanna, yeah, I wanna get you escaped now early in the course. So the official way to get into it, click that. Okay, and what you can do is you can grab a corner and drag it and you're like, yay, destroyed it. Okay, or, you know, manipulated it. You can also click the center and delete the center of your rectangle. Click on this edge here, delete the top part. So that's what object editing mode is. It kind of breaks it from that kind of, you know, that rectangle that does only rectangle stuff. And I show you here because maybe a lot of people get lost or stuck in here. So I'm gonna undo that. Now the official way to get out is to click done. But the normal way, the way most people do, is just to double click on the background. So, official way, have it selected, in, out. Unofficial way, double click it, double click the background to get out. I'm gonna delete that, I don't need it. I just wanted to show you what object editing mode was and how to get out if you got trapped. All right, on to the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.